hello guys welcome back to our channel welcome to one's wonder in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to fix the zipper fly for a corporate trouser this is going to work on both male and female trouser so you want to pay close attention to this video now the first thing i usually do is to cut out my zipper fly immediately after cutting out my trouser now the length of my zipper fly is 10 inch of course i have to cut it in excess and the breadth of my zipper fly is two and a half inches the length is 10 inch the breadth is two and a half inches i cut two right and i'm also going to be using my zip right now the black one that you can see is for the right part of my trouser and the white one is for the left part of my trouser now for the white one what i, used, what I did was to cover it in hemming gum the white one is for the left leg of my trouser so i covered it in hemming gum <clears throat> and the right one is for the right leg of my trouser so i covered it in paper gum or his tea you can use paper gum you can use his tea but it's not supposed to be as thick as the um white one. it's not supposed to be as thick so that's why i used paper gum for the right leg and then i used gum stiff for the left leg because gum stiff is stronger than paper gum or his tea right so you want to use something that is lighter for the right leg and you want to use something that is thick for the left um zipper fly now the first thing i'm going to do after setting setting up as the left leg of my zipper fly you can see this is the back part of my zipper fly and then the other part is the front i cover this one with gum right you can see the front part it has the fabric on it so what i'm going to do is to turn it with my lining i'm going to make the front part or the good part of my fabric to face my line and i'm going to turn it in with my sewing machine right now most lining do not have front and back but this lining has a front and a back so um because it's a designer lining so i'm going to make the front part of my zipper fly to face the front part of my lining and then i'm going to sew it like that i'm just going to sew half inch on the edge i'm going to sew in half inch on the edge with my sewing machine like so the next thing to do would be to trim out the excessive part of my lining and i'm going to trim it out like so When I am done trimming it out, the next thing to do would be to notch the edges of my zipper fly like so. When I am done notching it, the next thing I'm going to do would be to turn it in. I'm going to turn it in like this. If you remember, it was like this, right? It was like this. So I'm going to turn it in like this and then I'm going to take it to my table and I'm going to use my electric iron to iron it out. So now I am done ironing it out. The next thing I'm going to do will be to place it in my sewing machine and run a straight stitch like so. After that, I get to trim out the excessive lining. So now the next thing to do would be to pick up my zip and then I'm going to stitch it on my zipper fly. So to do that, I'm just going to place it on my zipper fly, making sure that the edge of my zip is correlating to the edge of my zipper fly and then I'm going to run a straight stitch. Also, I have to make sure that the bottom of my zip and the bottom of my zipper fly is correlating like this and then I'm just going to make a straight stitch. The next thing I'm going to do would be to bring out the front part of my trouser, right? The front part of my trouser and then I'm going to mark the length of my zip. I usually do this after cutting the trouser but then I'm going to show you. So the length of my zip is going to be 7, right? I'm going to mark my chalk at 7 and then I'm going to create a little notch at that point. The notch should not be too much. It could be quarter of an inch but not more than quarter of an inch. Because you do not want to affect the trouser right you do not want to affect the hips of the trouser i don't want to make too much of a cutting at that point right so it's quarter of an inch after that um i just brought it here to show you this is the right leg and then this is the left leg right 
so what i'm going to do would be to use um to turn the zipper fly on the right leg immediately and to do that i have to make sure that the notch is aligning on the metal part of my zip right i could just measure in one inch on my zipper fly it's still going to work so what i want to do is to make sure that the notch and the ending part of my zip is aligning right that's just the trick is to make sure that the notch on my trouser and the chalk on my zipper fly is aligning so i'm going to flip it over and then i'm going to sew it on the sewing machine and then i don't have to drag it on the sewing machine i don't have to drag the fabric because i don't want it to pop up i just have to sew it as it comes like so So the next thing I'm going to do would be to top stitch but as you can see the notched part of my trouser is sitting exactly on the one inch I measured in by. So the notched part of my trouser is aligning with the one inch I measured in. So what I'm going to do now would be to top stitch on the edge of the trouser like so. So the next thing I'm going to do would be to take this part of my trouser to the ironing table and iron it out and then I am done, right, I am done with that part. So for the left leg of my trouser, what I'm going to do is to first bring the zipper fly, and then I'm going to measure in one inch from the bottom. I'm going to measure in one inch like so, and then I'm going to make sure that this one inch is aligning with the notch on the main trouser itself. This same one inch is the same thing I did on the front, is the same thing on the front. So you want to make sure that this one inch is aligning with that notch that you made on the trouser, that seven inch notch you made. You want to make sure that this one inch is aligning with it. So what I'm going to do is to flip it over like so, is to flip it over like this and then you could pin it down before sewing it on a sewing machine but for me i'm not going to pin it i'm just going to sew it like that so i'm going to take it to my sewing machine and run a straight stitch from the top to the bottom of this notch i'm going to run a straight stitch from the waist of my trouser to the notch on um the seven inch line like so The next thing I'm going to do would be to notch on the zipper fly. Remember, I already notched on the trouser itself, so it's not necessary. I'm going to be notching on the zipper fly. When I'm done notching on the zipper fly, I'm going to flip it like so, and then I'm going to cut off the excess. I'm going to cut off the allowance. Now, the next thing to do would be to flip it over and top stitch on it. Now, the trick here is to make sure that you top stitch on the zipper fly itself, not on the trouser you want to make sure that all your stitches are on the zipper fly and not on the trouser so make sure that everything you are doing every stitch you are making you are making them on top of your zipper fly so when top stitching make sure that none of your stitch is coming or shooting out on the trouser itself remember it's a corporate trouser and it's going to look very dirty if all your stitches are outside or if some of your stitches are outside so you want to make sure that all your stitches are on the zipper fly itself like so So since it's like this, now what I'm going to do would be to turn it in like this and then take it to the table and iron it out. I'm going to iron it out, making sure that the edges are showing. After ironing it on the sewing, on the table rather, after taking it to the table and ironing it, I made sure that the notch came out and uh, everything is lying down like this. Now the next thing I'm going to do would be to bring out, um, of course this iron that I just did, is going to form the base for the last stitch I'm going to make on this trouser. But the next thing I'm going to do will be to bring out the right part of my trouser and then I'm going to bring out the left part of my trouser and then I'm going to sew two of them together. Now to do this what I have to do is to make sure that the notches are aligning right those notches on the, the one you can see here I'm going to make sure that two of them are on the same line if two of them are aligning then i have no problem 
with the top or any other place i have to make sure that both of them are aligning after making sure that both of them are aligning i'm going to sew just immediately after the stitch on this place i'm going to sew just immediately after the stitch but before i start sewing on that place that i just placed the chuck immediately after that stitch what i have to do again is to come up from the notch by half inch you can see the notch i'm going to come up by half inch and this is because it's a corporate trouser if it wasn't a corporate trouser i would start sewing from the notch direct if it was say a jeans i would start sewing from the notch but since it's for a corporate trouser i will start sewing from that half inch line up until i get to around um one inch at on the tie of my trouser because i don't close it depends on how you close your trouser do for that part but then what i'm going to do is just to start sewing from that um half inch line like so so it depends on how you close your trouser like i said for me i'm going to stop one inch before the edge of my tie right but for you you could do what you want to do now after um closing it up like that the next thing i'm going to do would be to flip it over like this right it's to flip it over like this and then sew on the other part of the zip now first and foremost i want to make sure that um the front part of my zipper fly is covering the zip like i want it to i want to make sure it's covering both the zip and the stitch i made there right so i have to make sure that it's covering it after making sure it's covering it like i want it to i don't want the zip to show i don't want the stitch to show worst of all i don't want um to, it to be visible when my client puts it on his body so after making sure it's covering like very well i'm now going to use a pin to pin it down on that part i'm going to use an office pin to pin it down on that part this is the only place i use an office pin when making um a front zipper fly for a corporate trouser so after pinning it down you can see that everything covered very well the next thing i'm going to do would be to flip the trouser over like this and i'm going to open up the zipper fly and then i'm going to sew on this zip the zip is still free but let me show it to you again now it's like this or it was like this right so i'm going to flip up um the right part of the trouser and then i'm going to open up the zipper fly like this and then i'm going to sew on this zip you can see that it's still open it's still loose so it needs to be stitched right so what i'm going to do is to flip it over in my sewing machine and then i'm going to run a loose stitch on that part i'm going to run a loose stitch a straight loose stitch like so so you can see the stitch i just made right now and then the next thing i want to do is to take out the pin first and foremost after taking out the pin i'm going to open up the zipper flies like this i'm going to open this one up and then i'm going to open up the other one i do not want them to um be together because i just want to run the final stitch on top so i don't want them to be together when i'm doing that final stitch i open them up like this and then after opening them up um, i'm going to run the stitch and then come about the curve so for the size of this stitch it's no more than two inches but it could certainly be less than two inches you could do one and a half you could do one three quarter but no more than two inches so i'm going to sew two inches straight and then i'm going to curve it at the bottom i'm going to curve it when i get to the bottom but for the benefit of this video for the benefit of this video what i'm going to do is to measure it out with my ruler and then i'm going to curve it with my ruler or with my hand so i'm going to measure two inch um from this part of my trouser right from the closed part of my trouser i'm going to measure two inch that's where i'm going to start from right from where um i started stitching it from behind i'm going to start measuring the two inch from that part if i'm using one and a half so i'm going to measure one and a half if i'm using one three quarter i'm going to measure one three quarter right but i'm using two so i'm going to measure two inch I'm going to go, go up and measure two inch I'm going to go below and measure two inch then i'm going to come here and measure two inch right you have to use a chalk that is that you can clean 
please you have to use a chalk that you can clean for me i do not use a chalk but for the benefit of this video i'm going to be using a chalk so you have to use a school chalk or an invisible chalk or a disappearing chalk so that it does not stain the clothes you are making after that i'm going to use my hand and curve it at the bottom right after covering it at the bottom what i just need to do now would be to run a loose a straight stitch not a loose stitch i'm going to run a straight stitch and then i'm going to curve it when i get to the bottom while making sure that I'm, nothing is joining so i'm going to sew it like this making sure that i avoid sewing on the one under so the next thing i'm going to do after sewing it on like that would be to close the zipper fly like so and run a straight loose stitch behind it of course i could leave it like this but i'm going to be risking um the zip catching on the genitals of my client when he goes to urinate and i don't want that so what you should do would be to run a straight loose stitch on the back of the trouser on the zipper fly like so now that i am done sewing on the zipper fly it means that i am already done sewing um the front zipper fly of my corporate trouser now the next thing would be to take it to the table and iron it out which of course you could do on your own now I, there is a video where i showed you how to cut a corporate trouser perfectly i showed you just the right measurements to use I also showed you how to come about the measurements for your hips and other parts of your trouser. It's an amazing video if you ask me and if you something you're interested in learning then click on the link in the description box of this video and I'm going to show you how. Until then my name is Kosi Kosiwa. Bye bye.